Scene script. Have you ever wondered how crucial primary metabolites are in the pharmaceutical and industrial sectors? Well, let's dive into this intriguing world where chemistry meets biology and see what we can discover. Primary metabolites, by definition, are organic compounds produced by plants, animals, and microorganisms during their normal, healthy metabolic processes. These compounds are essential for growth, development, and reproduction. They are the building blocks of life, the gears that keep the biological clock ticking. Now, these primary metabolites don't just appear out of nowhere. They belong to various classes and have different chemical structures. They might be carbohydrates, lipids, or proteins, each with its unique properties and roles. They occur naturally within living organisms and are involved in a myriad of biochemical reactions. Take a moment to think about the sugar in your morning coffee, the fats in your favorite dessert, or the proteins in your dinner. These are all examples of primary metabolites. They are not just confined to our plates, though. They are the unseen, unsung heroes of our bodies, helping us grow, repair, and maintain our health. But what's in a name? Well, quite a lot, actually. The nomenclature of primary metabolites can seem like an alien language to the uninitiated, but it's a language worth learning as it reveals the nature of these compounds, their structures, and their functions. Now let's touch on the pharmaceutical and industrial applications. Primary metabolites are the unsung heroes in these sectors. Carbohydrates are used in the production of antibiotics, while lipids are used in the manufacture of soaps, cosmetics, and even biofuels. Proteins are used in a wide range of applications, from food and beverages to pharmaceuticals and agriculture. We have only just scratched the surface of the world of primary metabolites, but already we can see how deeply intertwined they are with our lives and the world around us. They are not just part of our biology, but part of our economy, our industry, and our future. With such a vast array of roles, it's clear that primary metabolites are integral to the functioning of our bodies and the world around us. So let's delve deeper into this world in our next scenes. Stay tuned. Now, let's delve into one of the most common types of primary metabolites, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are indeed a vital class of organic compounds, known for their energy-rich properties, but their role extends far beyond just fueling our bodies. In the pharmaceutical and industrial sectors, carbohydrates are a key player. Let's take a sneak peek into their chemistry. Carbohydrates are made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. Their biogenesis involves the process of photosynthesis, where plants convert sunlight into energy, producing glucose in the process. This glucose is then used to create other types of carbohydrates, like starch and cellulose. In pharmaceutical applications, the versatility of carbohydrates is truly showcased. They are used in the formulation of drugs, acting as fillers and binders, helping to stabilize and increase the effectiveness of the medication. Some carbohydrates, like cellulose, are used to create the outer coating of tablets, while others, like lactose, are used as a filler in capsules. In terms of analysis, carbohydrates can be quantitatively measured using various methods. These include the Phalanx test, which detects reducing sugars, and the iodine test, which identifies the presence of starch. Qualitative analysis, on the other hand, focuses on identifying the specific types of carbohydrates present in a sample. Outside of the pharmaceutical world, Carbohydrates also play a significant role in various industries. For instance, they are used in the production of biofuels, where they are converted into ethanol. They also serve as a key ingredient in the manufacturing of certain types of plastics and adhesives. Carbohydrates are also integral to the food industry. Apart from providing energy, they also contribute to the texture and taste of food. In baking, for example, carbohydrates like starch are used to provide structure to the baked goods, while sugars contribute to their sweetness and browning. So as you can see, carbohydrates do more than just provide energy. They are a vital component in a range of industries, aiding in the production of everything from medicine to biofuels to baked goods. Carbohydrates, though often vilified in our diets, play an essential role in our health and the world's industries. Moving on, let's explore another vital class of primary metabolites, lipids. Lipids, or as we commonly know them, fats, are essential building blocks in both our bodies and numerous industries. They are a diverse group of compounds, characterized by their insolubility in water and solubility in nonpolar solvents. The chemistry of lipids is as fascinating as it is complex. At the heart of lipids' chemistry is the process of biogenesis, the production of complex molecules from simpler ones. 
Lipids are typically formed from the binding of glycerol and fatty acids, creating structures that are fundamental to life and industry. Lipids are incredibly versatile. They are essential in the pharmaceutical industry, where they play significant roles in drug delivery systems. Lipid-based drug delivery systems, for instance, are used to improve the bioavailability of drugs, enhancing their therapeutic effects. Lipids are also key players in the production of vitamins and hormones, which are vital for human health. Beyond the pharmaceutical realm, lipids find extensive use in various industries. They are integral to the production of soaps, detergents and cosmetics, thanks to their ability to emulsify or mix oil and water. Lipids also play a crucial role in the food industry, where they are used as a source of energy, as well as to provide texture and flavor to foods. But lipids aren't merely industrial workhorses. They are fundamental to life as we know it. They are the primary component of cell membranes, providing a protective barrier for cells, and are essential for energy storage. Lipids also serve as signaling molecules helping to regulate a host of biological processes. So the next time you think of fats, remember this. They are not just the villains of the diet world. They are sophisticated molecules with a range of functions that extend far beyond our plates. They are indispensable in the pharmaceutical industry, vital in various industrial applications, and fundamental to life itself. Lipids, commonly known as fats, are far more complex and vital to our health and industry than we often realize. Finally, let's talk about proteins, the workhorses of our cells. These complex molecules are vital to life, and they play a myriad of roles in our bodies and in the world of pharmaceuticals and industry. Proteins are made up of amino acids, which are strung together in a specific order. This order is dictated by our DNA, and it's this unique sequence that determines a protein's structure and function. The process of creating proteins from DNA is known as biogenesis, and it's a fascinating dance of molecular machinery. But proteins aren't just built, they're also broken down. This process, known as qualitative analysis, allows us to understand a protein's structure and function. It's a crucial tool in pharmaceutical research helping scientists to develop new drugs and therapies. Quantitative analysis, on the other hand, is all about measuring the amount of a specific protein in a sample. This information can be used in many ways, from diagnosing diseases to monitoring the effectiveness of a treatment. Now let's look at some of the roles proteins play. In our bodies, proteins are integral to our structures. They make up our muscles, our skin, and our hair. They also act as enzymes, speeding up chemical reactions and regulating our metabolism. They form antibodies, defending us against harmful invaders. And they serve as signaling molecules, sending messages between cells and coordinating our body's functions. In the pharmaceutical industry, proteins are used in a variety of ways. They can be engineered to act as drugs, targeting specific cells or molecules in the body. They can also be used in diagnostic tests helping to detect diseases and monitor health. And they're also used in the production of vaccines, stimulating our immune system to protect us against diseases. In industry, proteins are used in everything from food and drink production to the manufacture of biofuels. They're used in biotechnology to create new materials and processes, and they're even used in the production of cosmetics and personal care products. Proteins are the building blocks of life playing a critical role in everything from our bodies to our industries. In conclusion, primary metabolites are the unsung heroes of the pharmaceutical and industrial sectors. These biochemical powerhouses, carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins, they're not just the building blocks of life, they're also the building blocks of innovation and progress in many industries. Let's quickly recap what we've learned. Carbohydrates, those energy-rich compounds made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, play pivotal roles in the pharmaceutical sector. They're crucial in drug formulation, and are used in a variety of ways from providing energy to aiding in drug delivery. Industrially, they're used in everything from biofuels to food and beverage manufacturing. Then we have lipids, or fats, if you will. They're much more than just energy storage. In pharmaceuticals, lipids are used in drug delivery systems and in creating certain types of medications. In industry, they're used in the production of soaps, cosmetics, and even biofuels. Lastly, proteins. Those complex molecules that do so much more than just build our muscles. In the pharmaceutical world, proteins are used in the production of vaccines, therapeutic enzymes, and antibodies. Industrial applications range from their use in cosmetics to the food and beverage industry. These primary metabolites are everywhere, from the food we eat to the medicines we take, 
From the cosmetics we use to the biofuels that power our vehicles, they're crucial to our existence and to the development of various sectors. So as you can see, these primary metabolites are not just scientific jargon, they're a part of our daily lives. They're the unsung heroes working behind the scenes, making our lives better and healthier. And that's a wrap on primary metabolites and their pharmaceutical and industrial utilities. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to explore and understand. Subscribe for more because you won't find me later. Stay curious, keep learning, and together we'll explore the fascinating world of biochemistry.